How's it going? So today we're going to have a look at how to install MongoDB on Windows. And we're going to look at some functionality of MongoDB, specifically how to use MongoDB. So head over to your favorite browser and type in MongoDB. And we can see here that there are a couple of adverts from them. We can go from there or we can just come from here, MongoDB. Go to software and what we want is the free version, which is the community server. And this is the latest version. Make sure you select your platform. So I'm on, I'm on Windows, so we're going to go for Windows. And then click on download and that will start the download. Once MongoDB has downloaded, just double click on that and that will run the installer. For this, we are going to do a default installation. Click Next, accept the terms of the license agreement and we want the complete version. Now here we're given an option, install MongoDB as a service. What that basically means is that this is a window user account that is built into Windows. Basically, this should be the case, not unless you're uh, working from a company or for a company, in which case you'd be installing it as run service as a local domain user. But because this is going to run just on my computer, click next and then next and that will start the install process and this will take a few minutes. Click on finish and that's it MongoDB has installed. One other thing that I would suggest that you install is Compass. This is a GUI for MongoDB and it allows you to visually explore your data. From it you can even run ad hoc queries in, in a matter of seconds. You can interact with your data with full CRUD functionality. And this is freely available uh, for the community server but you have to install it separately. So to download Compass click on software, go to Compass, click on try it now and this is Compass, the community version. Now obviously make sure that you download the Windows version and just click on download. Once Compass has downloaded, go to the folder where it's downloaded and it's a zip file. When you open the zip file up, you'll notice that you don't actually need to install this. But what you do need to do is do you need to extract this. I've extracted the file here and we'll come back to that in just a moment. Let's now look at how we can run MongoDB. MongoDB has installed, now we need to be able to run the server. The easiest way to do this is to run the Mongo executable. So from this PC, go to your C drive Go to Program Files, go to MongoDB, Server 4.4, which is the version number, bin, there's mongo.exe, the executable. Just double click on that. The command prompt opens up and it shows us that it's running for all intents and purposes. Our MongoDB server is now up and running. This isn't very convenient every time you want to run MongoDB. A far easier way for future use would be to right click on the desktop, click on new, click on shortcut. And then it will ask you where is the location of the item you want to have the shortcut to. Click on browse and then go to your C drive, go to program files, MongoDB, into the bin directory and there's Mongo Exe. Just select that, click OK, click Next and the name file shortcut will be Mongo Exe. Actually what we'll do is we'll change it to MongoDB. 
and click finish and on your desktop you'll be able to see your shortcut that you have created so every time you want to run the mongodb server you just need to click on this shortcut which is on your desktop for the old versions of mongodb you are required to create a db folder for this latest version you are not required to create the folder so you are given a command md space backslash data sorry let me spell that correctly data slash db i'm not going to press enter this is not needed you don't need to do this with this latest version if you're running an old version then you would have had to have done this so i'm just going to delete that then to issue commands you can issue the commands from here from the command prompt i will have another video where I will show you how to actually put in commands and how to use compass. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've found it useful, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon for updates. Thank you and have a good day.